in. Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. And hello, Paimon. Hey! Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh! Alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. You said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless... Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro, and acknowledge the value and significance of... Yeah, Hyman still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was. Uh. How should I mind him? Uh. Miss Hydro Archon? Ah, uh, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't f you had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to comp. Oh. Talk about sounding high and mighty. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Uh... Is she getting... Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, 
Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to... You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between my... Uh, now she wants to, to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? afraid might i remind you that this is what are you trying to do traveler provoking a god in front of her people <clears throat> stand down clorand i admire her bravery few have the <laughs> unfortunately people nowadays only crave to be thrilled and a mere duel will not slake the huh. yeah she's right just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting <sighs> on Araneus. Criminals are always requested. You see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another... Oh. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house, it would be a pity... Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time... Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? <laughs> oh, we have reason. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our lady for it. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then... My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not great... Ah, great magician, Linny. My... <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally... Sh so, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has... Huh? You call that magic? <laughs> You've got... <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems... <laughs> amusing. Very amusing, Lenny. Just performance. In which case... Consider the matter of your trial resolved. But when there are valid grounds, I will not but even the gods of other lands. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Future Paimon. That Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation. Just so. 
Now she can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage. But isn't the Opera House where... When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other... Perf and speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego... My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to... The Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. Oh, you really mean it? This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute... Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy... It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be... In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will... That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people... There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine... Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's war. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed... That's exactly what the people did at first. But... In the last few years, the water... Mm. Many places have already been completely... Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine... Sh we hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we as a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing... Oh! Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these mat. Venus taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all.
So you're the blonde traveler. Oh, a mat thanks. Oh, please. What's this? Uh, what? You mean you don't No, no, I believe in the, the story says that people once lived in the ocean. But as time wore on, so if you ask me, when the water rises and takes Oh, we hadn't heard that. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. Want me to come along? Tea. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. Life is all about living in. You should still take. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that. already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people... Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I... Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop... So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the... Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romero time flowers. I remember... is accounted for. Let's move on.
You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished coll- Maybe next time you'll feel like- No way. I'm in power si- Ah, <sighs> fine. Though the performance is still a long way- So, we're going to the court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? I'm a <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We diverted to watch her movements carefully. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should... You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be... All right, let's go. wanted us to wait. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Oh no! Did she notice us? She what should we do? Should we chase her? Uh, you're right. She might also be Nothing's happened for a while now. I'm a wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. How long will it take when I set out? Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure. No, that was all. Anyway, I should be go. Oh, were you returning with the thief at stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his- Oh, did you get hurt? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't- What a slippery little thief! Out already. All right, let's put this little detour behind it. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is all. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the. <laughs> 
That's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. riding the aqua bus in the story of my life this is big what are you doing in fontaine i didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit yeah it's quite the coincidence but as travelers we're uh though we still have no idea how the hydro oh no need for introductions paimon i would recognize i wouldn't be much of a reporter if i didn't know who they were it's a pleasure to meet you nice to meet you from the steambird huh we've it's an honor to meet you now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like... So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Ah, oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive... Oh, I just remembered! I've been following a case lately. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right! These stories are the talk of the town right now. And if I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is... Oh! When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. So, what is the... serial disappearance? That's right! The first missing girl case happened almost an ever since. After a period of time, another girl disappears. But the scariest part is that to this day, no many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case. But shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every... Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of the... I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay... Please don't imagine that, Lenny. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be... Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quick. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, Hyman hopes we can chat again <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see... What a tough job. Always running around and... If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides... Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city...
This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, your home. Oh, they all... I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be... Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal... D uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing a little... Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more material. Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of material. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the under... Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear? <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are tri- <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to- It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon- When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should- Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon, don't- If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be there. Hmm, let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! Hmm? Huh, <laughs> doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. <laughs> Sorry, it might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it... Hmm, it rained for longer than I suspect. Was there something you needed to do with... Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I... On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I... Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh... I... Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials. I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. No trouble at all! No Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such... Oh, no need! No need! Hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be, but they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets. Wow. So, is mm, I can't say for sure. Hey. Is this machine what you use to make stuff here? Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? But where does a big machine like- Ah, uh, well, but basically, 
everything we usually use here in this... Huh? How can... Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in... So that's what its other function is? Hmm. But... Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable... Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy... Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it's still... <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. So y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to confer re Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want- Huh? It seems business isn't so great for the workshop. Hey, hold on. Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't- If Confrary of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So what- Ah! Uh you're from Northland Bank, but we said... Uh, Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine, but it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some... Either way you look at it, it seems things are going... Sure, we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. <clears throat> uh, hey, you! Nor Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You re listen to me, boy. If you want your mora, hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, traveler. Hey, that's way over the line. All right, boys. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I'm unsure this won't take long. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. If you're just a staffer from Snesh. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Uh, huh? Now's my chance! Huh. That was weird. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my- Strange! How could that happen? First- Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I- So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see- it. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad- Huh? What kind of reason is that? <laughs> I don't know, but recently- there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of- Hmm. That is a poss- I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was four- It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me, she was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. Because I had awakened- it and traces of it remained on me she but what is it what did you she never explained that but my guess is that it's related to in my dream i was in the deepest depths of the sea and the boundless seabed was all around me but in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive I a whale <gasps> oh that sounds familiar when we fought <laughs> That's just an abstract form of... It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck... So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. 
seems a little twit, so why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching, but it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where. Oh, it sounds like some. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I what? More work for the. Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fon. Official champion duelist? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And so engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, and the worst case scenario is that though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, so really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused. So, do many people actually get out of- Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before- Well, that's child for ya! Oh, before I forget, I want you. Huh? Your vision? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse. <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? Sneaky guy. He said it. <sighs> well, seems we don't have much to do for. Wow! Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer of. Uh, sorry. Hyma was just surprised, that's all. The whodunits here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merit. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the opera? Lenny said that the opera house is on Aranias, so let's go ride the opera bus. <laughs> This world is full of uns- I'll take the lead today.